Yo, still Mills, what's the deal, man? Peep gang, man. We, <laughs> we gotta talk about Caleb Plan again, man. We, we gotta discuss this, man. Um, we have to discuss this. Okay, what's over, bitch? What makes my thing is all right. When when someone says, "Oh, he don't," you know, a, a controversial win is still a close win. It just, me, you know, it means it could have went anyway. So when you talk about Euro bums and a lot, you know, his, you know, oh, Canelo, he's only fighting Euro. I'm, I'm really getting tired of hearing that, man. Because what makes Saunders a Euro bum and you not an American bum? Sandra has a way better resume than you. Yeah, Caleb right. Plant, he does. And when you talk about, oh, he's one in three that's in his biggest, that. in his most challenging fights. I mean, you got to think about it, man. This dude is fighting the highly, the highest caliber of competition available. Golovkin, I'm gonna fuck when he fought him. Golovkin, and I mean, me, per, I would, you know, I wasn't the biggest Canelo fan back in the day. I was easy, I mean, fuck that nigga. I said that before, but. Sometimes you just gotta grow into the divisions. You know, you just don't fit. Nah, I ain't ready yet. I, I'm not ready yet. Or your handlers don't think you're ready. Cause I remember before they, the fight before they, before, I can't remember what fight it was, but it was before the Chavez fight. It may have, was it Liam, Liam Smith? When he said, yeah, we uh, we Mexicans, we don't fuck around and this and that and the third. He was talking his shit, but I think, I, just, I think his handlers was like, nah, I don't think you're ready for that fight yet. Let's get you one more fight and let's get you one fight at middleweight and we'll see how you handle that. And then we can get in there. You dig? So at first I'm like, man, you letting go of your titles. I was I was paired in the same narratives that these cats paired because I just I wasn't a fan of them. Until you know you do a little bit more research, you get older, and then now you become wiser and shit. Some people just at the moment are not ready for the you know for the for the task at hand, even though they think they are. Even though they think they are. That just is what it is. Nonetheless, he fought them. He fought Laura. He fought Floyd. He fought Golovkin. And Floyd is the only one who clearly outclassed him. So now, when you talk about when you talk about Laura and you talk about Golovkin, when you talk about them two, those were tight fights. You, Canelo most definitely has an argument that it was a draw, that that was a right, that was a proper call. He most definitely does. He most definitely does. Because I had him winning the first and the last three rounds. But you can make an argument that those last three were swing rounds. Or if not all of them, but a few of them. You know, on the south side. <laughs> little make over here. But yeah, you have that argument that he could have, uh, he could have made, the, he could have made, hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Okay. But you have that argument that he won, you know, that, you know, that, you know, that he, it was swing rounds within those couple of rounds that I, you know, that I thought that he won. Nonetheless, swing rounds mean the rounds could have went either way. Same with Laura. So now when you get to Caleb, when you get to Caleb Plant, my thing is, what fighter have you fought the caliber of Laura, Golovkin, Cotto, Floyd, Liam, uh, or Colin Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, Danny Jacobs? Where are the caliber of opponents that you fought that equate to them? Because Uskataki was a champion, but he ain't it. He's not it. He's good. Was he Danny Jacobs? No. Was he Golovkin? No. Was he Cotto? Floyd, Laura, he was none of them. He is none of them. He's not retired. You know, he's about to fight David Benavidez. We all know the fight that we wanted to see. You know, you know the fight that we all wanted to see you in. And we haven't got it. As you both were undefeated champions. We didn't get it. 
So what would make, what, what gives you the inclination that, oh, man, you, that, you know, you're better than the opponents that he's fought? Because even with Danny Jacobs looking the way he looked in his last fight, I don't see you walking through no Danny Jacobs. I see you making, Danny Jacobs making that a very interesting fight. But you can walk, you can walk through Danny Jacobs. Like, come on, man. Like, it's just, people get so fucked up when it comes to this dude that they just go way outside the realm of reality, man. You are not a step above the competition that he has fought for you to comfortably say he's one in three in his biggest fights when you've only had one big fight. We don't know what your, what's your record like against the higher caliber competition. You haven't fought it. We haven't seen you with the, you know, running that, running that shit with the top dogs in the division, man. We we haven't seen it, man. I, and I just, I get the hate, you dig this, and I think the hate stems from a lot of the goofy shit that Oscar was doing. Nonetheless, he got to wear that, cause it's your career at the end of the day. Despite the fact you getting advised and people are trying to, you know, they doing what they think is best for your career, whatever with that, it's still your career. You still had it right to say no. You can go against the council. You can go against the commission. On some mob shit, you dig? But you know, that could cost you as well. But nonetheless, I, I get I, I get I, I get people's gripe and they beef with them. I do. I real life do. I real life do. But when you peel, you know, peel back that bullshit and look at who he's fought. He has a He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. He has a Hall of Fame resume at 30 years old. If he retired, if he decided to say I'm good with boxing. I be, I'm undisputed. I'm good now. That man is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Especially if he goes undisputed, it's not even in question. It's not in question now. But I just think it's it's weird how you know it's it's, it's weird. even with Andre. You know how how you beat Canelo, put him in the ring with Demetrius Andre. It sounds good until you you know until you. Until you get in there with him. Until you get in there with him. It, you know, it sounds good. It's like, bro, you know, would that... Both of y'all have the style to beat him. But you haven't sharpened your tools against the highest... Of, the elite of the of, of the opposition. Like he has. Y'all have far more intelligent feet than Canelo. But he's going to find y'all. Why? Because you haven't done you haven't done it against the elites. You haven't done it. This dude is twelve, three fights in the you know within the past six months, and still wants to fight two more times this year. Man, superstars don't do that. He's the face of the sport. Floyd and Manny ain't do that shit. They didn't fight three and four and five times a year. Or within one calendar year, between December and December, I just, I, 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 I just, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It comes off as you know, it's, it's kind of like you kind of, in one sense, repeating everything that you see. And granted, yeah, you know, you, you know, it's a point. It's, it's a valid point. He did have troubles against those fighters, but those fighters are the elites. So you have a point. It's not like you're walking in, a, you know, in some sort of fallacy. It's not. It, no one is saying what you're saying. No one is saying what you're saying is false. We're questioning the motive behind it. Like, why are you saying? Like, why? Why do you feel the need to, you know, to bring that? In? Is it because you're trying to psych yourself up to get in the ring and fighting? And because you know you are the you are you're a wildebeest in the Sahara. At this point, Wilderbeast can fight back. They can come out victorious too, but the likelihood of that happening isn't often. You were antelope in the crock pool. You dig? I saw, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, now that that threat is real and undeniable, you are in the scope. It seems like a lot of this shit is is, is, is is head games and you trying to, you know, talk yourself up. 
you gassing yourself. Let me get into motion. Let me get in the, let me get in my bag. Let me, you know, all right, cool. Whew. Let me go hit this liquid courage. You know what I'm saying? I see that nigga that we funky with that. This nigga that robbed me over there. That's nigga that bust on me a few, you know, a few weeks ago. That's nigga who tried to talk to, you know, who slid my, you know, my, my lady, my baby mama, my ex. That's, that's, that's how it comes off, like, that's how it comes off, the, you know, the shit that you're doing. That shit ain't, that shit just ain't the move, man. Come on, man, you see this man trying to get through. Why would you do that? It just, it, it just doesn't make much sense to me, man. It, it doesn't make much sense to me, and it, it comes off as... Just, just some bozo shit, honestly. It, it comes off as some bozo shit. You know, it's cool to parrot narratives that, you know, these... That social media draws up. It's cool to parrot that shit, man, but... What, what happens when you, you know what I'm saying? When you, you know, you on the other end of the gun. I just, I, I hate to see people do this shit, man. I, I hate to see them, you know, people do this shit. And dig, and we talk a lot of shit about Charlo and Andre and all that shit. And it's like, their resume isn't too much better. It's not better than theirs at all. And the only reason you are deserving of this of this title is because he wants to be undis the first undisputed fighter in that division. That is the only reason why. You have that uh, you know, that you're even being considered. Now it's all. Oh, I just want to make sure I get what I'm old and uh, you know all this extra shit, man. And it's just like, man, come on, homie. Just stop with the goofy shit, my nigga. That's all I'm saying, man. Yes, he struggled and looked somewhat vulnerable against elite competition. Even though you know nobody wants to talk about the fact that he won the fight. Nobody wants to talk about that. It's just, oh man, he, you know, he, you know, he looked meager against elite. Bro, he won the fight, and he has a legit argument that he did win the fight. I think Laura won that fight, but I see why Canelo won the fight. It's as simple as that, man. Just stop acting goofy, man. Just y'all niggas is a trip, bro. And it's it's just getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous because it is. It, this is the same shit that Floyd went through, and it's sad because I wasn't, you know, I, like I said, I'm late. I'm, I'm, I'm late to boxing. I'm very late to boxing. Yeah, it's not like I've been watching it since I was in my, in my early and mid twenties. I ain't get into the sport till my late twenties, and I'm, I'll be 35 in August. So, I'm, I'm, I'm late, but I didn't, you know, I was, I said some very disparaging things about Floyd. And how people are acting with Canelo now, that's how I was with Floyd when I started watching. Because I just didn't like the, you know, the, the the flashiness. But I grew to be like, nah, man, that shit ain't what's up. I grew to learn to peel back the layers and realize, yo, this dude beats, what, 22 world champions? This dude is possibly the sick, the slickest defensive fighter ever. He's a fucking wizard in there. So everything that was happening with Floyd, that's happening with Canelo was happening with Floyd. The difference is I'm more mature in Canelo's era than I was in Floyd's era. So I apologize to Floyd for that. But it's just, you know, it's getting ridiculous. And it's easier with Canelo because Canelo wasn't black. Now, you know, the woke movement is serious now. And everybody, you know, everybody is getting exposed to some truth, some sort of truth. I don't give a fuck where you're getting it from. And I love it. But in the process of you doing that is bleeding over into all aspects of where there's black participation in. And a lot of it does come off as pandering and, you know, false. I'm willing to sit down with any brother and have a conversation on black scholarship abroad, politics. Even though I'm not too versed in politics, but I have a conversation with politics, economic, social shit, anything. Anything. I'm willing to do that because, you know, I, I, I study. So I don't, I, la I don't conflate the two without it being necessary for me to conflate them. So you can't just pull the wool over my eyes and say, oh, no, nah, this is what this is. Nah, nah, I'm too smart for that. So stop the bullshit, man. Plant, stop the bullshit, get in there and fight the nigga. 
Simple as that. Stop all that weirdo shit, my nigga. You look shook right now. Yeah. Please. No, no.